My name is Matthew Bilkey. I'm a major with the Indiana State Police and the Assistant Chief of Staff for Operations. Uh, we became aware of the planning for Governor Whitcomb's funeral uh, on the Monday prior to his funeral. Our role in that funeral was really twofold. Uh, one was the operational planning and security for the event, but the other was to uh, a, a ceremonial and honorary role uh, to pay our respects to Governor Whitcomb and his family. Ready? That planning uh, took place over a course of three or four days, involved multiple agencies, and we really drew upon our relationship uh, with the other law enforcement agencies in the area of Indianapolis to accomplish that. Ready? Ready? Peace! It was a chilly day. So family, they pull in, where that blue van's at. We received orders Monday just to begin working on this. When you when you put something like this together, and all the preparation that leads up to it, okay. Our troop that's leading, then where would you want him to go? Do you want him to stay straight? It's very personally gratifying because you do all the prep work leading up to it, and when it happens, it's just very rewarding. It feels good to have such a an event go out without a hitch. Nobody looks forward to, to an event like this, but it's quite an honor to take part in an event like this. There are approximately between 35 and 40 troops on this detail. We served several functions today. One of them was part of the funeral detail, and the other was, uh, was traffic, working with IMPD, also the pedestrian traffic. I'm Charles Moore, Lieutenant Capitol Police, and our job was to make sure we get our K-9 officers in to do our, our security sweeps of the building, make sure we have enough officers in at these entry control points. And once we had the uh, military uh, guns on the south line of State House, once we got the word that they're gonna fire those off, we have to clear the sidewalks, make sure no one comes out the building, uh, the sidewalk on Capitol side as well. The flyover um, for us was um, part of that honor, but also a logistical issue. We were responsible for the processional and had to time that movement and that pause at the north end of the circle. The, the main goal was to pay those respects without taking away from the funeral processional and the family's needs at that time. For, for the officers involved, there is obviously the, the need and the want to pay their respects to Governor Wickham, but there is the part of this where we have a job to do. Um, we are responsible for the logistics, the movement, but we're also responsible for the safety and security of these people. So there is a little bit of a sigh of relief when everyone gets inside, the funeral has taken place. Retrospectively, when you look at what we were able to be a part of, a big part of, um, it, it's pretty satisfying both professionally and personally when you put it in perspective of the history of Indiana. And, and again, to honor Governor Whitcomb, he, he truly was a hero. So the ability to take part in that is, is very satisfying. We had students come through. I noticed the students were standing up on both sides saluting 
as the uh, procession came through the State House. It was really neat. The timing was right. The kids happened to come down for a normal tour of the State House, and the procession came through, and they got to take a part in history, and that's something to remember when they grow up, they can actually see that. Today, all of Indiana marks the passing of this great man. Governor Ed Whitcomb lived an extraordinary life, born in little old Hayden, Indiana. First called to public service with the outbreak of World War II, he joined the Army Air Corps and served as a B-17 pilot. Following his capture on May 7, 1942, he escaped a prison camp and swam eight miles through shark-infested waters. While he was eventually recaptured, Ed Whitcomb bravely escaped again. He recounted his harrowing story in a book entitled Escape from Corregidor, which is required reading for everyone in the Pence administration and should be for every Hoosier child. eye has not seen, ear has not heard, nor has the mind of man conceived what the Lord has in store for those who love him. On behalf of all of those who knew him and admired him and those who loved him, you have the condolences and the gratitude of the people of Indiana for sharing this good and great man with our nation and with our state. And so we will ever be grateful. And to my predecessor and my friend, I say, sail on. Ready, step. Sail on, Governor Whitcomb. But know that we here in your beloved Indiana will never forget your service. We will never forget your smile. And we will never fail to be inspired by your life and your courage. May God comfort all those who mourn the passing of this good and great man. And may Governor Edgar D. Whitcomb Rest in peace.